one of the user has asked to create soil texture class in R software from sand, silt and clay raster. So in this video I will show how to do it. So I have downloaded clay and sand from world soil grid. You can you can create your own and how to download from world soil grid that we can see in this video. Now we will go directly to R. Let us increase the font size. So first we need library raster and then set the working directory and read the raster like I am reading clay and the function will be raster and sand. Now uh, read the projection of any raster. So see the projection is lat long and datum is WGS84. You can also see like this using function CRS or projection. Now we will create a projection system that is UTM44 using EPSG code. So you go to EPSG and type here UTM44 north and this is the WGS84 UTM zone 44 north EPSG code is 32644. So that code you have to write. So I have created a projection system of UTM44 north. Now we will project the clay in UTM44. So using project raster function and then this is the raw data in GCS then CRS is equal to UTM44 what we have just created. Then resolution since all this soil grid data is 250 meter resolution so that 250 I have written and method I have written only NGV means nearest neighbor. Run it. Now see the projection it is UTM projected system UTM zone 44 datum WS84 like this. Now similarly we will be reprojecting the sand also. Now what we will do we will create point from these rasters. Actually uh, the library we are using for soil texture classification is soil texture where you can use only CSV files. So first we will get the point file from any raster. So, so I am getting a point file of clay okay. and here I am using a function. Before that let us plot it. Plot was clay. I run it. See there are many no data values here. So it's better to get a function so that we are converting only those pixels which is having more than zero value. So for that I have used one function here that x is more than zero. And special is true means your data the points will be special. So means x and y will be there. So run it and then you can get the names. So the name is clay. Then in the same point shape file we will be extracting sand. So the function is extract sand means the raster is sand and the point target is point 1. So run it. Now we will be combining those two means point 1 and this x and then you see the name so name name is like this so actually in this package the name should be in clay sand and silt and all should be in capital letter if it is not then you have to define there so better we can have name like clay and sand and silt in capital letter so that we, we, we will be renaming it and now you see the name is clay and sand. So now clay and sand is there and mo one more criteria is that the sum of clay and sand and silt should be 100. For that reason only I have downloaded only clay and sand and we will be deducting from 100 to get silt. So now first we will be converting it to a data frame not a special point data frame. So so now you can see this point 3 is a data frame like this. So here we are having clay, sand, x and y. So we will be getting a 
column of silt okay so we can see the name also now before getting a silt you see the values are 381 160 166 means these are scaled by 10 so we will be first dividing them by 10 so the point means clay this dollar you can use to get the field so clay is clay by 10 sand is sand by 10 so that we we can do it now you see head now that that is 38.1 and 16.6 now we will get a silt that also we will get in capital letters so 100 minus this field clay field and sand field so run it now you can see the heads silt is there so this is the now our data frame which is having sand silt clay and x and y now we'll get the library soil texture and then we will create a new field that is texture and it will be we will be using a function tt dot point dot in dot classes so it will create the texture class so the target is this dot this database point three and then system we are using usda you can use others also and then a detail of this you can see in my blog so here you can see creating soil texture triangles and how to get full detail is there you can use any I uh, see you can use any type of texture triangle like high press French German and then Canada Brazil Australia and then International Society of Soil Science. So we have used USDA dot TT and pick type is equal to T means suppose it in a texture triangle see this this is your USDA texture triangle. Suppose your your data is on this line. So it will be giving clay and silty clay both. Or suppose if it is in on a vertex so it will be pro giving all three or four suppose this vertex so you will get clay clay loam silty clay loam and silty clay all four so this will be uh, very limited points samples will be falling on vertex and line that we will be getting basically we are creating a new field having name uh, named as texture and it will be having a texture classes for the corresponding sand silt and clay value so run it and then head see silty clay loam and then structure so you see sand silt and clay values and means these are the these are the columns available now because now we will be converting them to raster so for converting them to raster we cannot convert the categorical values of like silty clay loam and like clay loam and clay so for that we will be converting it to a numeric value so first we will convert the texture class this uh, this field texture to factor so the function is uh, actually we are creating a new field that is texture class as factor of texture so run it and then i dot text class means one integer field i am creating that will be as numeric and from the new field texture class that is factor class now you see head so this was the texture this is converted to factor because earlier it is you see here it is character so from character now we have created a factor and from factor this is the integer now we will be converting it to raster so what we have done we have used a raster from xyz means xy and any z so we are using i dot text class as z and this is the 
you have to write like which field is longitude which field is latitude and the z value so this is the z value and then crs also already we have created utm is utm 44 here this one so that you uh, right uh, we have to write and run it now you can plot it so this is the plot so uh, the values are in integer 1 to 8 okay so how to see that we can directly run this r what we have created raster r so run it you see values are 1 to 8 okay so the, the values are in integer now in the raster we will be adding the attribute of what is integer 1 and what is integer 2 and what is integer 8 so for that you, you can use this line of code like what we are giving this texture class this texture class this factor we are again adding to the raster run it now you see the r here you see now the attributes it is showing one, from 1 to 8 and 1 is clay and 8 is salty clay loam so you can also see now the r at means r means this raster at data at attributes to get the full list see C cl clay now the 2 is clay and clay loam so this is the on the line that what I was showing you that it is on this line clay and clay loam so there will be very limited data on this on that so we will be seeing it then then this is 3 is clay and silty clay so clay and silty clay so some data are falling on this line exactly on this line and then there is clay, silty clay, clay loam and silty clay loam. So, on this vertex, some points are falling on this vertex. Okay. So similarly, these are the values. Now, we can use the library tmap to plot it. And you can plot using function tm shape this r and then tm raster now you see zoom it it will be showing you clay loam a clay 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 and clay loam all the points having more than one texture class are very less in number you see only you see clay uh, clay and clay loam and then this silty clay and silty clay loams are there others are very less and these white portions are no data for this only we have used function that uh, while converting to point file the clay is more than zero that argument we have used now we can write this raster r as tiff file here now you can see texture class is there just now i have created you can visualize it in rgs or qgs so value is one to eight you can go for unique values and see these numbers you see you see all these the number four that is falling on vertex means four means it is falling it is having four uh, texture classes pixel numbers are very less only 74 and for this here you can if we are having two texture classes here also two texture classes here also two the so major are eight six five and then one so one six five and eight and others are very less so now you can have anything like any classes like like this and you can always change the name like eight is silty clay loam so that you can copy from here and right here similarly you can do others so this is how we can create a, a texture class raster from sand and sand silt and clay rasters in R. Thank you for watching.